one of Nate Dogg's ex-girlfriends pleaded for financial support from the late rapper's estate to help raise her 17-year-old son. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, Sherita Williams, the mother to Nate's son Jaden, said she makes around $2,500 per month. Sherita said the minor's expenses have increased annually. Her lawyer said, after paying her own basic needs of food clothing and shelter, she has no money for the needs of the minor that includes school supplies, travel expenses, basketball camp, clothing, and a host of other miscellaneous expenses incurred for the minor as he is a senior in high school scheduled to graduate in 2024. Jaden will turn 18 on April 8, 2024. As RadarOnline.com first reported, earlier this year, Sherita claimed Nate had been ordered to pay her $4,358 per month in child in 2006. The rapper died on March 15, 2011. In 2013, the court approved Sherita being paid $3,000 per month from Nate's estate for child support. In her recent filing, Sherita claimed there was a mistake with the paperwork and she's at risk of being cut off from the support. Sherita pleaded with the court to sign off on the child support payments being paid to her. A judge is yet to rule. Following his death, Nate's family fought over his estate. The rapper's son Nigel Hale accused his wife Latoya Calvin of being responsible for the car accident that left his father severely injured. Nigel claimed his father suffered strokes as a result of the crash that eventually led to his death. Nigel's mom Rhoda criticized Latoya and backed her son in the fight. Nate's son claimed his father had been separated from Latoya before his death. The musician had filed for divorce but had yet to finalize it before his death. The estate was worth around $350,000 but only $200,000 was distributed to his children after debt was paid off. Recently, Latoya demanded a judge sign off on Nate's music catalog being sold off. No less than four parties have expressed interest in purchasing either the entire music catalog or in many cases a percentage of the rights, with management control, she claimed in a court filing. She continued, the latter option in particular, in addition to full sale options, should be explored, because she is informed and believes it would both yield substantial immediate case for all the heirs, but also involve a better ongoing professional management team which should improve and increase the performance of the remaining unsold income producing shares that are not sold for all the heirs. The matter has yet to be resolved by a judge.